from DNYUZ.com. LeBron James and other stars form a voting rights group. The NBA superstar LeBron James and a group of other prominent black athletes and entertainers are starting a new group aimed at protecting African-Americans' voting rights, seizing on the widespread fury against racial injustice that has fueled worldwide protests to amplify their voices in this false presidential election. As he said, because of everything that's going on, people are finally starting to listen to us. We feel like we're finally getting a foot in the door. How long is up to us? We don't know, but we feel like we're getting some ears and some attention in this is the time for us to finally make a difference. And this is great in and of itself. People get excited about an issue who are politically engaged, get more politically engaged, become a political force, a voting bloc. I would love to see black Americans uh, you know, be more engaged in politics and voting more in the sense that not they're going to vote for Democrats, but as long as they, the longer they stay involved, the more likely they are to become libertarians. No other ethnic group, although I don't know, someone might argue historics on this with me, uh, has had a, such a, a horrific experience with government as black Americans have. Slavery w- was not possible with government enforcement through run- runaway slave laws. Uh, all the institutional racism of the p- police force today, all of the economic discrimination, all this is backed up, made possible by, sponsored, endorsed by government. And the sooner uh, black America realizes this, the sooner that we're going to have this uh, huge other chunk of libertarian voters. So, is LeBron James going to do this, or is he going to be in the pockets of the Democrats? Only time will tell. I'm not hopeful for now, but, uh, you know, as he says, um, he has not yet talked. Well, so as for his own plans this fall, he said he had not yet talked to Joe Joseph R. Biden Jr., the presumptive Democratic nominee, but he did not rule out appearing on the campaign trail. We'll see if we can help a candidate here and there, Mr. James said. Um Mm, well, Mr. James, I, I applaud you for taking the angst that so many are feeling right now and turning it into a productive, long-term political engagement. The sooner you become libertarian and embrace using your power for the good of peace and justice and real freedom, uh, the, the sooner you'll be able to make a real, enduring, positive impact beyond just throwing the next few elections to the Democrats. So best of luck with this, Mr. James. Um, I, I, I hope that you can come over to the Libertarian Party and check that box that we all do. I oppose the initiation of force to achieve political or social goals.